As soon as I got into church tonight, I first thing I noticed was everybody coming up front and getting in. I wasn't sure as to why. And then I heard Brother Marlo, if you have financial problems, come up here. I want to testify on that. Being myself as a former Marine veteran, uh, serving 2000-2004, um, I have a lot of Marine friends on Facebook. One of them sent me a request to go into a closed group that was just for Marines. Um, I'm pretty sure that not everybody knows, but Marines are extremely oddball people. And we, are, we get judgmental by everybody because a lot of people look at us and say, well, you all are childish in your own way, which is true. But I feel the more childish we are, the more that we are free-loving and living the fullest to life. Yeah. And if that makes me odd, then I'm happy to be odd. <laughs> but the reason why I bring that up is um, I ended up, did, me and my fiance, we did come up with some financial issues. Um, we had gotten a phone call stating that we were going to lose one of our storage units. And this devastated her because she has a lot of uh, sentimental value that's put inside the storage. We didn't know what, what to do. So I went to this closed group and I wrote on it and I said, I don't know who to turn to and I don't know who to talk to. I wasn't asking for anything except advice. One of the guys on there put a message that stated, swallow your pride, Marie, and tell us how much it is. And I still was hesitant, because I don't want people to look at me as if I'm just looking for a handout instead of looking for advice. So as, it, as more and more grew, asking how much, how much, how much, I broke down and I wrote down how much. Out of all of this, there was one guy that popped up out of nowhere and said, what's the storage unit name? What storage unit number? No more than five minutes later, wrote back, Merry Christmas, paid in full. Thank God for that. And I do thank God for that. Every day since that has happened, I have thanked God for that. It's just, the more that I look at this closed group, I can't help but to think of us the peculiar people, the ones who will literally give the shirt off of their back to somebody in need. And I just can't help but to think, why can't we have more people like this in the world today? If we had more generous and more loving of people in the world today, how much of a difference this world would be? And I'm with Brother Marlo when I say, I would love to bring up the army of God. Amen. One of the reasons why I say, and I don't know if this is how you mean it, and if, if I offend you for saying it this way, please forgive me, but I look at the house of church with the people inside. The more that we grow, the bigger we get. Everybody sees that, everybody knows that. The thing that's different, though, is that the bigger that we get, the bigger our army of God becomes, which makes us stronger in numbers to battle against the demons that we have. And the more that we bring in, the more that we have, the easier it's going to be to battle the demons that we have inside of us. We have somebody that we can go to. We have a community that we can go to and discuss our problems and have prayers. It's just like with this closed group. I can't tell you how many times I've seen my wife's in the hospital, my grandmother's sick, I need prayers. And literally by the very next day, there's 118 prayers. Thank God for it. Thank God. And that's almost what I would love to see for every single church. Is to have that type of a strong community where you know that all you have to do is say one thing and 118 people are going to have your back on that one thing. Amen. 
and that's why I'm with Brother Marlow, and if that's what you mean by growing the army of God, then I want to be in that army of God. I want to be there to help people to where I've been helped myself. I want to pay it forward instead of being the one on the sideline. Thank you. God bless you.